How's it going guys? Linux Daily back with another Gen 2 Linux video here. I'm going to be going over some Portage Basics or it's pretty much the Gen 2 Package Manager. It's the Emerge command. I'm going to be going over some quick options here just to get you more familiar with how to use this Package Manager. I'm not going to go through all the uh, switches and flags that Portage has because that pretty much take weeks. There's so many of them. It's probably got some of the most flags and arguments that you, a package manager could have. Probably one of the most on uh, any Linux distro. The first thing that we should probably do is go into our make.conf and look at some our C flag settings. So to do that it is in slash Etsy portage make.conf if I could type right. There we are. It's not a huge file, but it's a pretty important one. Now, this common flags variable, I just have mine at default dash O2 pipe. That's pretty much the common setting. I never changed it. C flags are variables that define, build, and compile flags that are used for all package deployments, pretty much. And then the CXX flags are the same thing as C flags but for C++ packages. I just set mine to dash O2 pipe but on the Gen2 wiki you might want to read up on that to see what settings will fit better. I just have mine on default. Over here with make ops this pretty much allows you uh, to set how many parallel make jobs to create. It pretty much lets you specify your core count or in this case I have eight logical cores so I could put dash J8 which help things uh, compile a little better now down over here we have use and this builds in different modules and functions into programs it will specify on uh, the gen 2 package site for each package what to do or what use case to add also when you go to merge something it will tell you what you need to add or sometimes it will allow you to change that. We'll go with that later in today's video. Accept keywords. Sometimes you'll get like masked from a keyword and I just put a, a little squiggly line in AMD64 because I had a package that required that at one point. Now this stuff down here is for my X server input devices. I put lib input and synaptics that is for XOR configuration essentially and under video cards I threw NVIDIA because I have a NVIDIA graphics card now another important one is your Gen 2 mirrors this will pretty much where Portage is gonna grab all your source files to download now this one up here I have commented out because I had real it was really slow and it was timing out like three times and then letting me download. It was probably fetching it from this one here. So I threw that one up there and commented it out. So that is pretty much our make.conf. You want to edit it as a root user because down here it says read only. So that is our make.conf. After you set up the make.conf, now you want to install a package. I'm going to try to install GNU slash screen, which is a... It, it's pretty much a TTY program it lets you uh, use console cables and stuff. It's kind of like putty, but on the command line. Now we want to search for the program. So there is a command line thing called sudo emerge dash dash search. And I'm going to search for screen. It's going to search for all results that have screen in a name. Which is going to be quite a few of them actually. You got like screensaver, x screensaver, screen grab. So this pretty much lets you search all your mirrors for different packages. In this case, I wanted to install screen. And this one looks like it's probably going to take a little while to find. TTY screen. So that is that. That's how you search for packages like you have screen fetch app dash misc this is what I'm looking for right here this package it's a uh, terminal emulation program 
it is not installed so if I wanted to install it it's right here app dash misc I'm just gonna copy and paste that you can type it out or do whatever I'm actually gonna just type it with emerge since I have an alias emerge I'm actually gonna if you type an alias and then you grep for emerge it's gonna that's my alias for emerge so I don't have to type pseudo every single time so I'm gonna type in emerge dash a and then that what dash a does is it prompts it asks you pretty much if you want to install it otherwise I'll just go ahead and install it which I will show you that too so it's gonna calculate all the dependencies let's see how long this will take and there might be quite a few dependencies or there might be like use changes that we have to add as well alright so it asks us if we want to merge these packages we have yes or no right now I'm gonna type in no that's what the dash a option does you could just run it with just no options and it's gonna go ahead and do its thing now this might take a little while because it's obviously compiling from source I don't know how big of a package screen is I've never installed it on Gentoo Linux before but I'll get back to you when this is compiled and working alright it looks like our package is installed we can type in screen and it looks like it's working I cannot type today alright so after we got that installed now we want to remove it now there's a few different options that we have here we have emerge dash cav and then our package which is uh, app dash misc screen now what this one does is it removes the package without uh, only if it doesn't break any dependencies now you can uh, if you try to run this on like some dependency of another program it won't let you remove it because it breaks a dependency we can remove this one obviously because it is not depending on anything well I mean it's a uh, not a dependency of anything so we can remove this and it's just kind of unemerge quickly shouldn't take too long and there it is it's done now there's also a emerge dash capital C this one will remove it no matter what so this is a pretty risky command I would recommend just using the CAV to remove it alright let's get to some maintaining and cleaning options for portage here now we have the emerge dash clean option I wrote it down here this will remove any package that was emerged before another one regardless of version if you emerge a older version of package after a newer version it will remove the newer one because it was merged before if that makes sense it will pretty much remove any old like the oldest packages that were emerged not oldest version wise but oldest like how long they've been on your system if that makes sense we have another option emerge dep clean this will pretty much remove any orphaned dependencies it's pretty good if you're switching like office suites or web browsers that require a ton of dependencies and you're gonna switch between the two this will remove all those unused dependencies help keep your system a little clean we have emerge dash prune this will remove all older versions of any package it also touches the world file so be a little careful with this one but if you have a newer package and a older version of the same package it's going to remove the older one no matter what this is a fairly risky command because there might be a dependency of an older package just be wise at this one all right let's get into a uh, update we have emerge dash dash sync this is equivalent of like a pseudo apt get update 
but on Gen 2, it'll pretty much sync with the databases. Now in order to update Gen 2, we have a couple different options here. Alright, if we type in the emerge dash u capital D capital U dash dash keep dash going dash dash with dash b depths equals y at world. This will pretty much update our entire world file. You want to run this after you run the emerge dash dash sync. This is pretty much the equivalent of app dash git update. If you want a more verbose version of it, you can run emerge dash dash update dash dash deep dash dash with dash b depths equals y dash dash keep dash going at world. It's pretty much the same command as before, but all the flags spelled out. Given how many packages that you have to rebuild, this could take a worthy amount of time since it's rebuilding everything. If you're compiling stuff like Firefox or Qt web engine, this stuff takes a little while. I know Rust will take a few hours to build. This is pretty much the equivalent of app dash git upgrade after you run app dash git update. And it will take a long time. Now some other things to note with portage. It might tell you that you have uh, some use cases, some use changes that are necessary to proceed. Th at this point you would want to run either sudo etc slash update to update your configuration file after you accepted the uh, use cases. Or you can write in your emerge, if you, uh, let's go to our emerge here. You could write dash dash auto unmask dash write. And this will automatically write to your configuration files. It's better that you look to see what it's actually writing by just throwing the dash A so it doesn't just immediately write stuff to it. So you can see what it's actually doing in case if you don't feel comfortable with that use flag being added. So that's some basics of portage. It's not every single command line option, but it's enough just to get a basic system working. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.